Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the road cutting problem and its implementation. So let's get started. So in road cutting, we are given a road of length N and we are also given the prices of different road length pieces. And we have to find the optimal way to cut the given road into smaller roads in order to maximize profit. For example, here we are given a road of length 4 meter and the prices of different lengths of roads. So a 1 meter road will give us $1 and a 2 meter road will give us $5 and a 3 meter road will give us $8 and a 4 meter road will give us $9 and a 5 meter road will give us $10. Now we have to find the optimal way to cut the road so that we can get the maximum profit. So there are 5 possibilities and one of them is we don't cut the given road. So the road length will be 4 meter and the profit in this case will be $9. Another possibility would be to cut the road into four pieces, which means three cuts and each piece will have length of one meter and a one meter road will give us profit of one dollar. So the total profit will be four dollar. Another possibility would be to cut the road into two pieces, which means one cut. One piece will have length of one meter and the other piece will have length of three meter. So the total profit will be one plus eight, which will be nine. Another possibility would be to cut the road into three pieces, which means two cuts. So there will be two pieces of length one meter and one piece of length two meter. So the profit in this case will be seven dollars. And another possibility would be to cut the road into two pieces, which means one cut and each piece will have length of two meter. So five plus five, which is ten dollar. So the maximum profit that we can make is $10 by cutting the road into two pieces, each of length five meter. Now let's see another example. So in this case, we are given a rod of length five meter and we are also given the prices of different lengths of rod. So a one meter piece will give us $2, a two meter piece will give us $5, a three meter piece will give us $7 and a four meter piece will give us $3. Now to get to the solution to the actual problem which is given a rod of length 5 meter and prices of different lengths of rod, what is the maximum profit we can get? Now to solve this problem we will first solve the smaller sub problems. Now let's see what those sub problems will be. So given a rod of length 1 meter and when we are only allowed to make cuts of 1 meter, what is the maximum profit we can get? Now in this case the length of the rod is only 1 meter and we are only allowed to make cuts of 1 meter. We don't need to cut the rod. So in this case, the maximum profit we can get is $2 because the profit from a 1 meter piece is $2. Similarly, when we are given a rod of length 4 meter and we are only allowed to make cuts of 1 meter, what is the maximum profit we can get? Now, in this case, we will make 3 cuts which will give us 4 pieces each of length 1 meter. So the maximum profit we can get is $8 in this case. Now when we are given a rod of length 2 meter and when we are allowed to make cuts of 1 meter and 2 meter, what is the maximum profit we can get? Now one option is to cut the 2 meter rod into 2 pieces each of length 1 meter and that will give us the profit of $4. But if we don't cut the rod and keep it as a 2 meter rod, that will give us the $5 profit. So to get the maximum profit, we will not cut the rod and that will give us the profit of $5. Now when we are given a rod of length 4 meter and when we are allowed to make cuts of 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter and 4 meter, what is the maximum profit we can get? Now in this case, we will cut the 4 meter rod into 2 pieces, each of length 2 meter and that will give us the maximum profit of $10. So we can represent the problem using a two-dimensional array where rows represents the cuts of different lengths and columns represents the length of the road. So this row will store the solution to subproblems when we don't make any cut and this row will store the solution to subproblems when we can only make cuts of one meter and this row will store the solution to subproblems when we can make cuts of one meter and two meter and this row will store the solution to subproblems when we can make cuts of 1 meter, 2 meter and 3 meter. And this row will store the solution to subproblems when we can make cuts of 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter and 4 meter. Similarly, this column will store the solution to subproblems when the length of the road is 0 meter. 
and this column will store the solution to sub problems when the length of the road is 1 meter and this column will store the solution to sub problems when the length of the road is 2 meter and finally this column will store the solution to sub problems when the length of the road is 5 meter so the value stored in this cell will be our result because for this cell the length of the road is 5 meter and we can make cuts of 1 meter 2 meter 3 meter and 4 meter now let's fill the values in the first row now for first row we don't make any cuts or you can think of it as making cut of zero meter now when we make a cut of zero meter we don't get any profit so all the values in the first row will be zero regardless of the length of the road similarly all the values in the first column will be zero because when the length of the road is zero meter regardless of the different cuts we are allowed to make the maximum profit we can make is zero dollar because when the length of the road is 0 meter, we cannot make a cut of 1 meter or 2 meter or 3 meter or 4 meter. So all the values in the first column will be 0. Now let's fill the values in the second row. So this row represents the case when we can only make cuts of 1 meter. Now when the length of the road is 1 meter, we will not make any cut. So the profit in this case will be $2 because the price of 1 meter piece is $2. Now when the length of the road is 2 meter, we will cut the road into 2 pieces, each of length 1 meter. So the profit in this case will be $4. Now when the length of the road is 3 meter, we will cut the road into 3 pieces, each of length 1 meter. So the profit in this case will be $6. Now when the length of the road is 4 meter, we will cut the road into 4 pieces, each of length 1 meter. So the profit in this case will be $8. Now when the length of the road is 5 meter, we will cut the road into 5 pieces, each of length 1 meter. So the profit in this case will be $10. Now let's fill the values in the third row. So this row represents the case when we can make cuts of 1 meter and 2 meter. Now when the length of the road is 1 meter, we will not make any cut. So the maximum profit in this case will be $2. Now when the length of the road is 2 meter, we will not make any cut. So the maximum profit in this case will be $5. Now when the length of the road is 3 meter, there are two ways to get the maximum profit. One way is to not cut the road. So a 3 meter piece will give us $7. Another way is to cut the road into two pieces, one piece of length 1 meter and other piece of length 2 meter. So 2 plus 5, 7. So there are two ways to get the maximum profit in this case. When the length of the road is 4 meter, we will cut the road into two pieces, each of length 2 meter. So the maximum profit in this case will be $10. Now when the length of the road is 5 meter, there are two ways to get the maximum profit. One way is to cut the road into two pieces, one piece of length 2 meter and one piece of length 3 meter. So 5 plus 7, 12. Now another way is to cut the road into three pieces, one piece of length 1 meter and two pieces of length 2 meter. So 2 plus 10, 12. So there are two ways to get the maximum profit in this case and the maximum profit will be 12. Now let's fill the values in the fourth row. So in this case we can make cuts of 1 meter, 2 meter and 3 meter. Now when the length of the road is 1 meter we will not make any cut so the profit will be $2. Similarly when length of the road is 2 meter we will not make any cut so the profit will be $5. Similarly when the length of the road is 3 meter the maximum profit we can get is $7 and when length of the road is 4 meter the maximum profit we can get is $10 by cutting the road into two pieces each of length 2 meter and when length of the road is 5 meter the maximum profit we can get is $12. Now let's fill the values in the last row so in this case we can make cuts of 1 meter, 2 meter, 3 meter and 4 meter now when length of the road is 1 meter we will not make any cut so the maximum profit in this case will be $2. Similarly when length of the road is 2 meter we will not make any cut so the maximum profit in this case will be $5. Similarly when length of the road is 3 meter the maximum profit we can get is $7 and there are two ways to do that. Now when length of the road is 4 meter the maximum profit we can get is $10 by cutting the road into two pieces each of length 2 meter. Now when length of the road is 5 meter, the maximum profit we can get is $12 and there are two ways to do that. Now even though we can make a cut of 4 meter, but that will not result in getting maximum profit because the price of a 4 meter piece is just $3. So our final solution will be $12, which is the maximum profit that we can make for this case.
Now there are a couple of important things to note about the dynamic programming table. So when i is greater than j, so in this case we cannot make ith meter cut from the road of length j meter because i is greater than j. So in this case dp table ij will be equal to dp table i minus 1j. So we will copy the value from the cell above. For example, we cannot make a cut of 4 meter when the length of the road is just 1 meter. So value in this cell will be copied from the cell above. Similarly, we cannot make a cut of 4 meter when the length of the road is just 2 meter. So value in this cell will be copied from the cell above. Similarly, in this case, we cannot make a cut of 4 meter when the length of the road is just 3 meter. So value in this cell will be copied from the cell above. Now when i is not greater than j, so in this case we can make ith meter cut from the road of length j meter. So the value in this case will be maximum out of these two values. So this is the case when we don't make ith meter cut and this is the case when we make ith meter cut. So when we make ith meter cut, we take the price of that ith meter cut and we go i columns back in the same row. Why i columns back? Because we made a cut of ith meter. For example, let's calculate the value in this cell. Now, if we don't make a cut of 2 meter, the value will be 10. But if we make a cut of 2 meter, the value will be 5 plus 7. Why 5 plus 7? Because 5 is the price of a 2 meter cut. Plus, we have to go 2 columns back in the same row because we made a cut of 2 meter. So, 5 plus 7 will be 12. So, maximum out of 10 and 12 is 12. So, we will store the value 12 at this location. Now let's see some more examples. So let's calculate dp table 2 1. Now we cannot make a cut of 2 meter when the length of the road is only 1 meter. So dp table 2 1 will be equal to dp table 1 1 which is 2. So dp table 2 1 will be equal to 2. Now let's calculate dp table 2 2. So dp table 2 2 will be maximum of 4 or 5 plus dp table 2 0. Now why dp table 2 0? Because we are making a cut of 2 meter. So we have to move back 2 columns in the same row. Now dp table 2 0 is 0 so we have to take maximum of 4 or 5 now we will take the maximum value which is 5 so dp table 2 2 will be equal to 5. Similarly let's calculate dp table 2 3 now dp table 2 3 will be maximum of 6 or 5 plus dp table 2 1 now dp table 2 1 is 2 so we have to take the maximum out of 6 and 7 so we will take the maximum value which is 7 so dp table 2 3 will be 7. Now let's calculate dp table 2 4. Now dp table 2 4 will be maximum of 8 or 5 plus dp table 2 2. Now dp table 2 2 is 5. So we have to take the maximum out of 8 and 10. So we will take the maximum value which is 10. So dp table 2 4 will be 10. Now let's calculate dp table 2 5. Now dp table 2 5 will be maximum of 10 or 5 plus dp table 2 3. Now dp table 2 3 is 7. So we have to take the maximum out of 10 and 12. So we will take the maximum value which is 12. So dp table 2 5 will be equal to 12. Now let's calculate dp table 3 3. So dp table 3 3 will be maximum of 7 or 7 plus dp table 3 0. Now why dp table 3 0? Because we are making a cut of 3 meter. So we have to move back 3 columns in the same row. Now dp table 3 0 is 0. So we have to take the maximum out of 7 and 7. Now since both the values are same, we can take any one of them. So dp table 3, 3 will be 7. Now let's calculate dp table 3, 4. Now dp table 3, 4 will be maximum of 10 or 7 plus dp table 3, 1. Now dp table 3, 1 is 2. So we have to take maximum out of 10 and 9. So we will take the maximum value which is 10. So dp table 3, 4 will be equal to 10. And finally, let's calculate dp table 4, 5. Now dp table 4, 5 will be maximum of 12 or 3 plus dp table 4, 1. Now why dp table 4, 1? Because we are making a cut of 4 meter. So we have to move back 4 columns in the same row. Now dp table 4, 1 is 2. So we have to take maximum out of 12 and 5. So we will take the maximum value which is 12. So dp table 4, 5 will be equal to 12. Now we know that the maximum profit we can get is $12. Now let's figure out what cuts we made. So we will start from the last cell and we will compare its value with the cell above. Now both the values are same. It means we did not made a cut of 4 meter. Now we will compare this value with the cell above. Now both the values are same. It means we did not made a cut of 3 meter. Now we will compare this value with the cell above. Now both the values are not same. It means we made a cut of 2 meter. So 5 meter minus 2 meter which is 3 meter. 
now we will compare this value with the cell above again both the values are different it means we made a cut of 2 meter so 3 meter minus 2 meter which is 1 meter now we will compare this value with the cell above now both the values are same it means we did not made a cut of 2 meter now we will compare this value with the cell above now both the values are different it means we made a cut of 1 meter now after this the remaining road length is 0 so the profit is 0 so we don't need to compare anymore so we got two pieces each of length 2 meter and one piece of length 1 meter now let's see the implementation so in the app class we have main method where we have a one dimensional array called prices and we have a variable called road length which stores the length of the road next we create an object of road cutting class passing the values in the constructor next we call the solve method which will return the maximum profit that we can get and finally we call the show cuts method that will print the cuts that will be made now in the road cutting class we have some properties so we have one dimensional array called prices we have road length and we have a two dimensional array called dp table now in the constructor we initialize the properties now the number of rows in the dp table will be equal to the length of the prices array plus one because we have the base case when we make cut of zero meter similarly the number of columns in the dp table will be equal to the length of the road plus one because we have the base case when the length of the road is zero meter now we also have two methods in the road cutting class solve and show cuts now in java by default all the values in an array of type int will be set to zero so the value of the base cases will automatically be set to zero so we will start filling the values from the second row and second column so i is equal to one and j is equal to one now when i is greater than j so in this case dp table i j will be equal to dp table i minus one j otherwise we take the maximum out of these two values and finally we return the value stored in the last cell of the dp table now in the show cuts method we start from the last cell so i will be equal to prices dot length and j will be equal to road length and as long as i is greater than zero we will check this condition so if dp table i j is not equal to zero which means profit is not equal to zero and dp table i j is not equal to dp table i minus one j it means we make a cut of i meter so we will decrement the j by i because we make a cut of i meter otherwise we will decrement the i by one now let's execute the code and see the result so we got the maximum profit of twelve dollar and we will cut the road into three pieces two pieces each of length two meter and one piece of length one meter now you can get the code from here